Hi, I'm Steve Howard, and this is Citrus County in Focus. Flooding has been on everybody's radar since last fall's weather events. Resiliency is critical, and we're ready to help owners of flood-prone homes to rise above the floodplain. Several years ago, FEMA rolled out their new floodplain map. Many of the floodplain levels increased as much as two, three, and four feet above what the last map showed. When many of these homes were built, they were not in the floodplain, but now many are. So that's where the Flood Mitigation Assistance Program can help. This is a federal program that is administered by the Florida Department of Emergency Management. Mitigation involves elevating and rebuilding above the floodplain. We're building up higher to get out of the way of those floodwaters when they do come ashore. If your home has had severe repetitive flood loss and you have an active flood insurance policy, then the Flood Mitigation Assistance Program would be a good option. And in most cases, out-of-pocket homeowner costs would be around 25%. The best part of it, though, is that the county is going to make application on homeowners' behalf. But the homeowners have to get in touch with housing services Citrus County Housing. Marina speaking, how can I help? For homeowners interested in elevating their home and wanting more information on the Flood Mitigation Assistance Program, please call Housing Services at 352-527-7520. We are confident that Citrus County Housing Services will be an excellent resource in helping homeowners through the process. This is a great opportunity. The more homes that we can get elevated above the floodplain, not just in Citrus County, but around the state of Florida, it means ultimately there are fewer losses and lower premiums, lower flood insurance premiums for all of us. This month marks the opening of Target at the shops at Black Diamond on the corner of County Roads 491 and 486 in Lecanto. Here's a look at the progress. Right now, they're at about 100 people that they've already taken on staff and they're still counting with the opening coming up in about a week or so. Those jobs are all being filled with people from around about a 15 mile radius. So that means given this location, you're, you're pulling a lot of people, the vast majority of them from Citrus County. For someone who is having to travel outside of Citrus County, travel that extra 15, 20 miles away from Citrus County to go to Ocala, in Marion County and get that job, this could be a, a, a game changer for them because they could come in making $15, $17 an hour and they only live five minutes away. Beats growing to Burksville, that's for sure. This whole corner and this whole stretch uh, is really going to be booming over the next few years. Um, just from these developments, I can tell you right now, the county has had uh, several conversations with some interesting, interesting companies that it, uh, has really put a, a spotlight on Citrus County. The county commissioners have, have actually made it a priority to try to grow the economic base here in the county. Developments like this one here at the Target uh, and, and all the other commercial spots around it are fantastic from a tax base perspective. But from a growth and a real true economic growth perspective, um, we really need to branch out and bring in a diversity of new industry, which would include what I like to call people that make things. We want producers, not necessarily more consumers. Um, those producers, they obviously bring in a higher wage, so think machinists, think welders, think things of that nature. People that work with their hands, people that actually put a product out there and sell it. Um, that's the type of, uh, of industries that we're looking at. We're also looking into new industries that are in the tech sector or maybe even in the aviation sector because we have two airports here in this county, which is a rarity for a county of this size. Um, so we're looking to leverage all of those assets and start working to diversify our economic race and bring in some new industries that we haven't had here before. Hello, this is Eric Landon, the Growth Management Director for Citrus County. The County Land Development Code has been amended several times over the years to make large developments like this more visually appealing and function better for pedestrians. Uh, and I want to walk you through this building or walk around the building and show you some of those examples. One being some foundational landscaping so that you just don't have a large block of concrete as you walk in. Another is improving facade with offsets. In this case, a nice art, art installation was installed to, to offset 
uh, to keep it from just being a solid wall. I also want to identify the parking lot where you can't have more than 10 spaces without an island and a canopy tree and that'll really help uh, the experience when you, when you give it a little bit of time those trees will, will bloom and provide shade for everyone coming and going. Uh, bike, bicycle racks are also required as part of the development and that'll help those that either want to ride their bike to shop or ride their bike to work, especially those that live close by here in the Beverly Hills uh, Black Diamond area. My name is Sean and I live in Crystal River. I just started, trained at the store in Brooksville and uh, working here when this one opens. Another nice feature required by our code is a pedestrian area. You have a bench, you have some shade, and in this development there's a nice lanai that, that's provided for uh, customers coming and going. And it's just a place you can rest, especially if you get a break from the heat or maybe wait for someone to come pick you up out front. And uh, you may notice that the artwork here above the lanai also matches the art installation on the front of the building. So that's just an extra nice touch that Target decided to have here. So, you, so you'll notice on site where the facade can't remain plain for more than 100 feet. And uh, sometimes it's up to the developer to do whatever they like to make the site more interesting. In this case, they provided a living wall where you'll have vines growing up this fence. And also they'll have a window which will uh, have a dual effect and it provides natural light inside. So it's just a nice feature uh, and a nice partnership between the corporation and the county. So I also want to mention the things that you don't see when you come to Target. Uh, and when you come and shop and, and look around, you won't see HVAC equipment, you won't see a generator, you won't see a dumpster. And all that is intentional because our land development co re code requires that to be hidden. So it's a really nice feature when you're looking at the aesthetics of the building and making this place uh, some place you can be proud of. I'm Steve Howard. Thanks for watching. Join us next month for a special Citrus County in Focus on Roads.